Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this Flexi Print and Place Scorpion uploaded by Flexi Factory. Now this is a paid model, so keep that in mind. Now if we uh, scroll down and look at the uh, suggested print settings, we can see that it says Super Easy Print, which is something we definitely like to hear. There are no supports required, it's a print in place, so no assembly. We need 20% infill, and PLA works more than fine. So once we start downloading uh, the model, and once we do get the model, you're going to click and drag on the STL file and drag it over to Cura, such that it imports like this. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Profile to select a layer height. We're going to click on this box and we're going to select Standard Quality, a 0.2mm layer height. Next, we're going to go over to the Infill tab right here, click on that. And the first option should be infill density. We're going to set that to 20% if it isn't 20% already. After that, we're going to scroll down and go over to supports. This is a generate support button. Make sure that they are, this is not checked. We want this to be a white box because this model does not require support. So let's definitely not, uh, not add those here or else they're going to cause a bunch of problems. With build plate adhesion, I recommend that you have it at skirt. Now, if you know for a fact that this contact area is too small for your for your um, build plate, such that if you print small models like this and they keep popping off, then you may have to have some uh, build plate adhesion. And if that's the case, you're going to click on here and go over to raft. But that is only if you know for a fact you have bad adhesion on your build plate. I'm using hairspray on my build plate, so I don't need it. But uh, if you're comfortable, leave it at skirt. If you're not, leave it at raft. And other than that, you are set. There's nothing else you have to do with this model. So just click the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once the model is done slicing, you will be given a rough time estimate down below in the bottom right corner. And you'll also be given a estimated filament usage. So next we're going to click on the preview print button because we always want to take a look around the model to see if anything weird or funky is going on. And you can hold right click to move the uh, model around. Take a look at the bottom, top, everything looks good. So now save the file and send it over to your printer. This is the model all finished up. Now if some of the parts are frozen and don't want to move or flex, then you may have to push them inwards very slightly in order to relieve them. 